Welcome in, everyone. Welcome to Shuffler Grand Prix, the only place where you can play a variety of games with a, a decent amount of time, and you've got to clear a majority of the pack. Probably more than the majority. you got to clear four out of five, or the goal is for four out of five at the very That's least. That's what I mean yeah. by majority. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess three also counts though. But for this, you do need four. The magic number four. Yep, and we've got a brand new pack of games for this month of March. And uh, let's see, what do we got here? The theme for tonight is Lucky Arcade. And I sure hope our racers brought tons of quarters because these games seemed a little bit hungry earlier. They might still be hungry. <laughs> We'll find out. But these are all one screen arcade titles inspired or inspired by them. Up first we have Dryer, a cute little fun homebrew that is has you wrapping your head around the screens to collect all the stars. The racers must get through eighteen levels of this screen wrapping jumping adventure. Then we have Shoot Man. It's a Miss Pac Man NES hack that has kind of a Rolling Stone mouth. That they ha still has to gobble up all the pellets and fruit, and the uh, racers must reach score of twenty thousand. And then we have Lucky Penguin. This is a nice, cute little ice sliding game. Uh, it also has screen wrapping, and you play as Nestrum, who wants to destroy all the four leaf clovers he can find. So they must destroy them all and get the lovely ending music. That's uh, and then we have Doku. Don, with, this is a game similar to Bubble Bobble, but instead you have a mallet to smash enemies, and you throw them at wall and other enemies. And our the goal for the racers tonight is to beat the second boss, the Blue Chef Mouse. And then last but not least, we have a nice upgraded version of Space Invaders. It takes an old arcade game and gives it new 2.5D sprites and new boss battles, but it has the same kind of layout with new weapons and mechanics. And our racers must stop this invasion until they cap out at 250,000 score, then they can let the invasion happen. I'm going to let it go on over here to our commentary team. Go ahead and introduce you guys yourself. Well, you guys know who I am. I was just here! For those who weren't here, let us know. <laughs> Please do I'm Joe Pocket, and I... Spend my Saturday nights doing this. Okay. Uh, I'm a Netscape plan, and uh, I will be commentating here as well. I also commentated the one a couple hours ago, which was uh, really interesting and fun to watch that. And we got one more commentator here. My name is Beakneek85, and I am your residential bird, and there's a girl in Shuffle League? Oh my god! Amazing. We all ready to give them their wonderful countdown? So, all right. I think we're just waiting for the back office. Yep, and we're just doing the countdown, and then we'll be seeing them up on screen in just a moment here. And uh, we see and someone. Oh, I think, well, someone is. Someone's someone. starting off with Dryer, and we're waiting for one up. He's apparently having some technical issues. Oh, oh, there we go. He He's starting with Space Invaders. He's back to life. He got the one up. I'll be facing off against someone. Ooh, I have okay, never. But who's he going to be facing against? I don't know. That's... It'll be someone though. <laughs> It'll be anyone. Oh, that's a different racer. I think anyone's playing tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should log into gameanyone.com. Uh, ooh. I wonder what happens. I'm kind of scared a... to go to that site. So, so he's facing someone? Yes. Who? Someone. No, who's he facing? Someone. Who? Someone. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, I was doing a 
race a few weeks ago and uh someone was in that race as well and he came away with the victory uh, that was like a nes three random game thing and uh so i've seen someone race before this someone this specific someone the three two five someone or three two four five oh. or whatever one. Oh god That's cool his someone name. oh god and i think one up is fairly new i think this might be one up's first race with us or maybe second second, second one okay Oh, and look oh, at that! Wow. Both of them have found the funny little mushroom game! Ah, yes. That was Don Doko Don. Don Doko Don. Just Don Doko Don. Head and chuck them across the screen. And this would be someone's third race, so they've competed in every race of this circuit. Ah, it seems that, uh... It has the usual, running into enemies equals die. Nice that we have them synced up a little bit on the same game. Doesn't always happen with these. I don't remember yep. if there was a seed given for these ones to make them lined up for a bit. One up is a little bit ahead, and, but I think someone can quickly catch up and unless he commits death. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to avoid making so many jokes. Why would you avoid it? Because it feels like low-hanging fruit. <laughs> well, come on, we're commentators, we can just veg out! I like how, uh, Lucky Penguin here is, a uh, very St. Patty's theme, just collecting some four-leaf clovers, you know? St. Patty's Day a few days ago. Yep, with a nice flower-shaped map as presented towards us. So how'd you guys spend your St. Patty's Day? I was visiting co-workers in uh, Oregon, and some of them went to the bar, but I don't know, I wasn't that interested in the bar. <laughs> Not much of a drinker? Nah. I have, like, a drink, and I'm like, I'm good for now. I did go to a, a retro arcade, though. That was a lot of fun. They only had retro games in the arcades, like Frogger, Burger Time, Kung Fu, uh, Turtles in Time. Yeah, a lot of fun games. They had Bubble Bobble. They didn't have Don Don Don. I remember going to an arcade a long time ago, and it was fun! Oh, yeah. Yeah, this was a great experience going back to, like, a retro one. It only had retro ones, no modern games at all. It was great. I think, uh, there was a couple of fighting game cabinets down below to that arcade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did some of those, too. Got to go and play with some of my co-workers in Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat 2 and things like that. It was fun. To me, I think uh, the wildest arcade I went to was Round 1, and that's where I got to play... Julio Fever for the first time. I've been to. I, which round one did you go to? I believe I went. And I believe the arcade I went to, not including the Puyo one, but the one I went to before that was called Lost Levels. Last arcade I went to was a round one. That and a. Uh, there's always Dave and Buster's. Ah, uh, yes. Dave and Buster's is great for arcades, especially since they have the exclusive Luigi's Mansion arcade cabinet. For me, when I go to an arcade, the most what I mostly play, the games where you can win stuff. Nice. Get some tickets. You turn in a million tickets and you get a, you know, a pencil eraser. <laughs> I actually saved up all of my tickets when I went to Dave and Buster's for my birthday a few years back, and I actually bought myself Pokemon Monopoly. Very nice. You know, there are some where you can actually get video game consoles. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Might be like a million tickets, but it is possible. <laughs> it's Imagine... just gonna take a lot of effort. Oh yeah. Gotta go and Imagine find a place able to pull that it. up. It's like... Like, so, Billy, how did you get that Nintendo Switch? I won at video games! I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've been, I'm so toast on sugar, I'm cracking. I'm sorry, but just your praise, I won video games. Just 
gives me life. I won at video games! I won! How, what'd you win? <laughs> Are you sure you want me to answer that? Okay, I'll tell you. I want a reason to actually enjoy living again! Oh. Meanwhile, those are some interesting sprites. For, uh, Shoot man here, yeah, the round hand. Yeah. Shoot, based shoop, off some like eighties. Well, shoop. I was gonna say an eighties meme, but there weren't really memes back in the eighties. I forgot like no, all the two thousand memes. memes. I guess there probably were memes of different varieties back in the day, just not easily spread on the internet back then. I mean, there was a one Pac-Man clone that was... that someone made for MX, and... I'm gonna have to pull up the box art for this, because I don't think I can explain it. Oh, right, back to the games. Uh... Right, yes. Uh, so... Uh, we got someone here clearing uh, another stage in Pac-Man. Still has all of his lives and 8,000 points. Needs to get to 20,000 points to finish that one. And 1-Up also is now just moving to Shoot Man. It looks like his first time in it, just starting his first run of Shoot Man here. I can't tell what those wannabe ghosts are. Are those just the Galaga enemies? They kind of look like Mr. T's. It's funny have that because on the title screen there. for this, I thought I just saw the, uh, I'm a fire in my laser! Yes, that's yeah. Shoot Man. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I remember from Shoot Man, too. <laughs> like, a lot of times when I charge my phone, I'm just like, I'm charging my lasers, and people don't understand what I'm talking about. But it is from this, basically. Uh -huh. I'm firing my laser! Blah. You gotta watch that again now. Meanwhile, back to Galaga for someone. Space Invaders. Space Invaders. A, a I keep... remake of it. Whenever you kill four ships of the same they color, you get a similar. coin. Oh, and one up gets cornered. Ready? Or did he just complete yep. the stage? Looks like he started a new stage. No, he got he got cornered. Oh. Did the screen start flashing? Because usually when the screen flashes in uh, Pac-Man games, that's when you clear a stage. I, uh, oh. I can't read all right. <laughs> that's okay. That's why we play video games. It's okay. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, so a lot, a lot of people didn't know how to read and write back when voting was a thing. It was more popular. Wait, what? Is that too mainstream? No, I didn't know what you said. I'll tell you when I'm older. Um. Also, that strawberry looked like it wants to end- It looked so depressed. Please end me! I'm in constant pain! <laughs> oh no- Ooh! His power bounded, uh, one up there. Almost ran into an enemy without the power up. But he made a very quick adjustment. Great job, and completes the stage. About halfway yep. done there. They meet. Oh I... boy, oh my god. Yes, it continues with the Miss Pac-Man hack here. Shoot I man. shoot it. Pac-Man loves shoot man. Is Where's that the... why Miss Pac-Man never showed up for a while? Dun dun I... dun. Also, wait. Someone in the bonus stage here, just shooting the motherships. Oh yes, yeah, my favorite things to collect in pack. Oh. Now we've seen one up going to dryer. He's going to the dryer. Ready one to the washer. Now he's going to the dryer. Meanwhile, I was gonna make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, someone in just had a fun time shooting up all those UFOs. Now it's got a lot of these special shots in there. Oh, Miss UFO Warren. show. Oh show. And someone's doing a great job there. Fourteen, almost fourteen thousand points in shoot man with all the life. Still has four lives remaining. Not a single death yet. Oh, and there's the uh, 
Is that the strawberry moon going off the screen there? I just ate it off the screen. You can't see it anymore. It did look pretty well, that sad. That strawberry has a face. Oh, yeah. Or I had eyes at least. I like these. I was gonna say ghosts, but I'm not sure. You can categorize these as ghosts. <laughs> I'll just They're... call them. Uh, they look like mushrooms. hamsters to me. Yeah, I was like gonna say they look hamsters. like the. Uh... Do they look like the usual Space Invaders aliens, just wearing different colored pants? Or just wearing white pants? Someone has gotten to the next stage where apparently, in addition with the depressed strawberry and the cherry-looking strawberries, or in the, uh... Next up on the oh. arsenal is... A wannabe evil Otto! Oh no, it gets cornered there. That's fine. First yeah. deaths of 16,000 points. They're in good shape. And one up have an easy bonus stage. No problem there. I think with shoot man, it'll be one more stage after this to get to 20,000. So she has to clear this and then the next stage and should have 20,000. And moves on to oh, Lucky Penguin. Penguin. Yeah, it's a very cute, chill pu uh, puzzle game. Chill in all the senses. I still got to kick that um instead of collecting clovers you're actually destroying the clovers i didn't know that until when you complete the game it actually tells you that what you did was just destroying the clovers for some reason you eat them or something like that i thought it was just like collecting them it's just like all right just peacefully just picking some flowers but nope you're just destroying them you're just like pulling them out of the roots yeah screw you lady luck you don't work i don't exactly. believe in R in jesus <laughs> I think I heard that you're supposed to like be eating them, but I'm not sure if it's really eating them. You look at them and it just sort of like flies off the screen. It's sort of like you like pick them up and tear them apart, like it was like a Danny Lions like, she loves me, she loves me not. You're just like picking up little bits and just tossing them in the air. Or here's my interpretation: you grab them from the stem, you basically rip it up, and then you just eat those things across the place. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yep, welcome back. My computer pretty much told me to go to a bad place, so now I'm looking. Oh god, a... your computer told you to go to Brazil? You don't want me to say, well, this is a family show, so I can't really say. I know, that's why I was making a joke. In like, replacing it with something else. Someone took uh, another death and shoot man there. Still has 19,000. Oh, what did I miss? Not um, much, just uh, discussing the lore of Lucky Penguin. Yeah. And how he... What's the lore of Lucky Penguin? He does not believe in R and Jesus. Yep, must destroy all the four leaf lucky clovers. They just were not R and lucky Jesus enough. is just a concept someone made. And double level clear. Oh yeah, what timing, great sync up here. So ah we'll yes! Someone's about to go, yep, someone has completed uh, the first goal, 20,000 and shoot man. Looks like he's just gonna let it run out until it swaps the next game. So someone yep, has and good time down. considering that, oh wow, that was fast. And I was just about to say, ah yes, my favorite collectible in Pac-Man. A, a little whipped cream piece. I could go for some ice cream with whipped cream right now. Ah, uh, yes. I love that. I've had way too much salty stuff recently. Had oh my fun. goodness, what is that? Thi Ooh, Space Invaders with a boss fight now. <laughs> so yeah. Yo! Hammerhead attack there. Yo, Fighting this looks sick! Weapon. Yeah, this is great. I love this uh, remake. Probably can get the killed here all. <laughs> If it's your first time on that boss, you'll always die when he does that, unless you really know what to do. You just have to stand in the corner. Just, you know, put on the dunce cap, just way in the corner. Oh, he's on yeah, his last we... life. 
Oh, he figured it out. He figured it out. He's, ha he's had enough. He doesn't want the dunce cap. Way in the corner. I feel like that there should be some type of projectile shown, but I don't think that the P at this one is letting him on, on emulation. It's, not, it's looking like you? someone's oh, having no. a lot of... Oh. It's looking like someone's having a lot of trouble with Dryer. He's still on stage two, and it's 16 minutes in. Well, it also might be because they didn't really get that game that much. Yeah, I'm thinking that was maybe their first time in it, but um, one up there just... ran out of one ups. Apparently, he has to restart Space Invaders. Oh no! Whoa. We had this happen in we had this happen in our first race today. I guess yeah. he should have uh turned in some more uh dollars for quarters because uh it ate all them quarters. Yeah. Well, maybe he can go to that little token section of the arcade. You know, the one where you could play in games like Price is Right or Wheel of Fortune where you just drop in the token and you earn stuff through that. You know what? I used to play those games. I'd shake the machine vigorously. <laughs> You're gonna commit the power. Power. You're not burning, burning machines. <laughs> no, I know. I'd just I'd make it so I'd get all the tickets. A lot of the tickets are also virtual now. Like you just buy like a playing card instead of like actually putting in tokens anymore. You used to have to just hold on to all these physical tickets. So if you wanted to save up a million tickets, you had to, you know, find a storage space for your million tickets. Those were the days. Oh yeah, good times. Can so we go back to those times? I don't like the current times we're in. Don Doku Don here with a, someone with these weird big stone bouncy I have no idea what the lore is supposed to be in Don Doku Don. Are you in just like another planet and I think yeah. they, they look more like my ex wife. What? <laughs> I look at your ex wife, is that what you said? Yep. Got it. <laughs> she well, hopped around like that too. Oh, wow. Well at the very least they don't at the very least you could just shoot your ex with a spaceship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Max was more like a lucky penguin, just, you know, collecting all the lucky clovers sliding around the ground, you know? Fun. And uh, one up completes Shoop Man. That's, that, in all of the races so far, that's been the first game completed. Mm hmm. Yep, he came. He was down to one life remaining, so you can game over in it. You only have three lives, but all of our racers today have been doing a great job so far. Yep, they seem to be very on the ball with this one. Yep. Never gonna give you up! <laughs> we do have the Rick Roll screen. When you get back to the yep. intro screen, check out the bottom there. You know the rules, and so do Ooh. I! So say goodbye. I'll never, you'll never get this from any other guy. Never gonna give you up. Right. <laughs> we don't need to rickroll our viewers as well. <laughs> well there you are you sure? Because okay, maybe not. Okay, rickrolling the viewers, I could get. Are you sure we can't rickroll chosen? <laughs> I'm sure we could do that. Not sure what's happening with one up there. Did he pause? Maybe he might have paused. He's only on stage oh, there he four. Is. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I, there's something I sh we should mention. The time to beat right now is 39 minutes. If either of, if either one up or someone can can get pat can beat four games in that time, they're going to make it to the top four tomorrow. Oh, I see. Oh, they're cute. Someone now fighting the boss. Oh, he got a nice welcome uh, headbutt there. I have a bad feeling about this. Someone's probably going to have to do a game over here as well. Let's see if he can figure out. He has to just know what to do. You got to sit in the corner. Didn't sit in the corner. Ooh. And someone also has to start space and He's going over that corner and then he went back. Space and Saders. Space and Saders. Space and Saders. Space and Saders. And Saders. Yeah, it's... I almost made a Jewish joke. I don't know. 
No, they won't we'll not do that one. <laughs> yeah, that's Oh, but someone completes Lucky Penguin. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow, oh, it's actually that destroyed. short. Great job. It's someone. a very short game. Very short. Yep, it's so like you put, you put a quarter in and immediately it says, You won! Oh I did was putting a quarter. I feel ripped off. At least it gives you a winning message, you know? It's like that's you put in a quarter and like you win. And at least and at least it's not something like an NES game where it's like, congrats, a winner is you. You did the thing. <laughs> you have escaped the way. You have saved the person. You have completed the quest. You may go to the thing. Some of these games, there wasn't even that for the ending screen. It just, like, brought you to another stage. It just loops back the game, basically. No messages, just, like... Keep playing. It'll be the same thing, but sure. Sometimes it goes a little bit faster or something, but some of these games are just repeated forever. Isn't that just it world time like loss levels? It could be like that one Westworld arcade game. Westworld arcade game? I'm not familiar with Westworld this. or Waterworld, where you put in a quarter and you only get to make two steps before you have to put in another 40 quarters. Yeah, those well, are at least, games. Hey, well, at least it's not... Wait, was it made by EA? Ooh, someone had a game over in Dryer. Had to go and restart the Dryer. Well, well at, least they can, uh, at least they can put in a fresh new sheet. That's right. We yeah. are so going to be hated. <laughs> fresh new load of quarters is in now. Continue with the Dryer. <laughs> Meanwhile, more spaceships and... Huh, it seems like that one probed him and took up the lucky penguin. Penguin got probed. Someone having some difficulties here with these uh, tight jumps and uh, dryer. Maybe. This is, dryer is the kind of game where it can very easily drive you to drink. I can believe that. Confound it! I think uh, someone might not know you can run in dryer. That that helps with making some of these jumps, doing a running jump. Instead, he's trying to do like, <laughs> yeah, I can tell that's going to be an issue. So yeah. someone might be struggling on dryer for a bit. Oh, I believe that's they were okay, all at least back to these stone golem thingies. I believe all the racers were given the basic uh, controls for all the games, so I guess like a basic idea of the format. Racers don't know the games involved until like half an hour or 45 minutes before the actual race itself, and they should be given uh, a little document that tells them what the games are, I believe, in the controls, but someone please correct me. Right. We missed a key uh, control on Dryer. I just kind of realized it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we're running, yeah. Yikes. Ouch. Yeah, cause someone seems to be struggling there, thinking that he's walk and make the jumps, so... I might have to just ping him and just be like, hey, hold B. <laughs> Meanwhile, it seems that someone is currently getting bodied by this pumpkin Ferris wheel. That pumpkin scares me. Yeah, I don't think we can get spookier in vegetable bosses than that one tomato thing from Ronald McDonald's Treasure Island or whatever. MC Kids? Yeah. I've Mickey heard that in a long time. Very good music platform. was awesome. Uh, McDonald's advertisement, basically. This uh, giant pumpkin head's very uh, greedy at Halloween. It's like trick-or-treating with four different little buckets, basically. It just like has four spinning buckets. Like, give me candy. That's what I think of when I see this boss. I... I... I demand you present me with everything you owe with that, that is not part of our main food groups. You smack this pumpkin, it drops its hat, and you throw the hat at the pumpkin, and that hurts it, because it's a game, and I, I don't know. Because logic! Yes. What is this, Mario Odyssey? That game makes perfect sense, too. I mean, if you think about it, considering that you're throwing hats back at them. Oh, that's very true. Yeah, good call. Good call. 
I haven't played much Mario Odyssey. I remember characters speaking in emojis and stuff like in that game. I'm like, what is going on here? Oh, these ghosts are cute! Yeah, these are pretty cute. They just fly up and down, up and down. Alright! Oh no! Someone had the Super a Santa over. Brothers! That was a restart for someone! Yep. So, and, uh, so last, last race. Yeah, so Don Doku Don and Space Invaders seem to be the common games to bury people, and Dryer as well. So, so far, Shoop Man and Lucky Penguin. Actually, I don't even, you have, apparently you do have lives in Lucky Penguin. But, I don't know how you lose lives in Lucky Penguin. Maybe I there's think a... there's a button combination you can yeah. hit. That's what I was thinking, but I also don't think you can even get stuck anywhere in a stage. It's not like you get to a point, it's just like... Oh, I screwed up the solution. I have to restart. I don't even know if that's possible in this game. Well, here's the question. Is this a completed homebrew, or is it still a work in progress? That's a good question. As I think it's I a complete it's one. I don't think... I can't imagine we'd allow incomplete games that have a chance of not being beatable. Well, at least they can be beatable to a point. Like there's a game called Super Bat Puncher Demo on NES that uh, it is a demo supposedly, but you can still do like the first two boss fights and then the game ends. So it has an ending point. It just is unfinished. They wanted to add more content. I can definitely see that for Lucky Penguin since it is a very, very short game. It still gives you a password at the end of every level for unknown reasons. There are plenty of games around this time that didn't give passwords that were much longer and more difficult, but Lucky Penguin just really tough to die in a very short game. Ryger. I still haven't played that one yet. Don't. <laughs> Got it. There we and go. Now, and now one up has beaten Lucky Penguin. Look at, the, look at the face of that penguin. It's so happy. It looks like it's like lying in money or something, but I think it's just lying on all the clovers that it tore apart. It's just like a bed of clovers. Look how happy that penguin is. Yay! Another happy penguin! Uh, very happy penguin. This, uh, I don't know what, what would you say this animal is in dryer? Is this like a, a dinosaur or like a, a mole or? It looks like a rabbit on my end. It looks like a rabbit on my end. Rabbit It looks like Max. It looks like Max's wife. Come on. <laughs> I've had a lot of ex-wives. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I believe uh, it's no, a... seriously, I, it looks kind of like an elephant. I propose a compromise to to all of our guesses with one idea. What? It's a Neopet! Really? Yeah, I was about to say, yes, the silence, I think, was warranted. <laughs> Let's see who can complete Dryer first. They both seem to be struggling a little bit there. Hopefully someone pinged... <laughs> someone pinged someone. Someone pinged himself. Be like, you can run. <laughs> I see our back office manager here did inform uh, someone. You can hold B to run in Dryer. And it seems like I are oh, players like game over by two someone? games each to clear left. The question is, which games are they going to clear, and can they do it in ten minutes? Oh yeah, if they want to be up there with Andy and 4H. People keep saying Andy, so I'm sure. And and Mame Ninja did is in an hour and five. So if either of them go beyond that, then they will be in danger of uh, possibly getting knocked out of the top four. But for I believe the format works like they need just to have a time that's within the top four. They just cannot be. So there's six racers tonight. As long as they're in the top four, they continue tomorrow. Uh, so one up had to restart dryers back at the very beginning stage with these floating purple faces and blue butterfly things. Wonder what the lore is for oh, dryers. That doesn't sound like it. 
That doesn't sound like something from the 70s. Yeah, some trippy games here. All we need is some Grateful Dead music. Right. Nah, I think we just need to have uh, the music that everyone associates Isabella and Doom Guy with. Because this is what, what I'm gathering from all these games. Isabella who? Isabella and Doom Guy. But mostly on the side of, uh, since Animal Crossing New Horizons and uh, Doom Eternal came out on the same day, they actually, in the fandom, decided, you know what? I can see these two being a really good friendship. Oh no. Friendship. Friendship. Friendship? Again? Friendship is rare. Don't you know what I'm saying to you? Friendship is rare. Why do you? Speaking of uh, Mortal Kombat, there's ways to do certain finishing moves. They're called friendships. New babelies, oh, yeah. friendships, animalities. No, I think no, one of my favorite just... friendship. I think my favorite friendships from what I've seen is uh, the one where it's the jump rope. No oh, tenacious. No tenacious D fans. They're fine. I like Jack Black. Yeah, I can't wait to hear the voice of Bowser or is that... Or as my numerous names for him include uh, Koopa Libre, Tenacious oh, no. Koopa. Kung Fu Koopa? Yes! There's a new Sonic movie coming out. I actually had fun with the first one. The first one was actually like pretty fun. I wouldn't say yeah. it's like the best movie I've ever seen in my life or anything. But yeah, no wonder it was the best movie of 2020. And that's just outside of the fact we were in lockdown. Right. Meanwhile, back to our racers. Yes, yes. I'm curious to go and see uh, which one um, people actually clear for their fourth game here. Because both of them had, I think, two game overs. They had a game over in Dryer and... I think and both of them the only one they haven't had a game over. No, actually, I think one of them even had a game over in Don Dokudon. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah sure. someone did have that game over. They had no problem with Lucky Penguin, though. Luck was ever in their favor. When that game, can you really die and get a game over in that? Right, I don't think it's even possible to die in that one. Yeah, it might just be unfinished, or as our earlier mentioned, still the works? Who knows? And back to our racers, both of which in Galaga. I keep seeing Galaga. Space and Space! Oh, that's some oh, that's game. Game. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like another space shooter on a single screen type thing, so. Okay. I, I mean, I see the similarities. It doesn't help that compared to the previous Space Invaders installments, where it's just like a black border and it implies that you're on Earth trying to shoot the aliens from landing. This one, you actually feel like you're in space. Yes, definitely. Kind of like I had to remember what the difference was between uh, Arkanoid and Breakout. They're both very similar games, but one, I guess, yeah, like power ups. And... Yeah. I love Breakout. I'm oh, way, oh an alleyway. Ad alleyway's another version. Oh, yeah, Alleyway's uh, the Game Boy. Alleyway actually has Mario in it. You know why they called it Alleyway? Because that's it. Because uh, it was said that the game originated in the back alley. Mario you is took my literally joke. a battle. <laughs> you took my joke. <laughs> but Mario is the battle. That's pretty cool. I'll have to go and check this out. Oh. He's like trapped inside the paddle and he's one operating it. Oh, that's all. Really, that's I never knew, knew that. Mario was kind of everywhere in the Game Boy and NES era because he was also in, uh, what was it? Punch Quick? Kinks? Whatever that game is pronounced? Did you say Kinks? No! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Mario and Kinks? What, what uh, <laughs> are you playing there? Dude, I don't think I'll get Nintendo real <laughs> license. For. What? What game? <laughs> It's spelled Q I X. 
Okay, so it's not Kinks. Alright, alright. <laughs> What's going on? If here? there's a game called Kinks, I want to play it. Of course. Um. Anyways, I someone is destroying a spaceship called, uh, here. Oh, you could just point where he was missing online, and I realized, no, wait, I shouldn't make that. Ooh, yeah. I lost track of which ones had game overs and which games. Did someone have a game over in Space Invaders as well? I think they yeah, both, both did. Of them did. They both did, right? All of them got that bodied by the boss. And I think someone's the one that had a game over in Dan Doku Dan. Can't confirm. Yeah. Meanwhile, one of us making good pacing back. I thought it was one, one up who had a game over in Dan Doku Dan. Yeah, someone definitely had the game over in Don Doku Don. Just they're back in this stage. This stage is uh oh he got a great lineup there. All of them just lined up on top for one shot to go through. Almost all of them. To get this one you have to go like down through the middle and jump up through there. So yeah, he's figured it out. He's got it. It's always nice when you can get them all lined up, but a lot of times there's a little straggler. Just refuses to get stomped. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the floor and pop him on the head. Oh, I, I remember. And then eat them at everyone you meet! Little bunny poo poo, hop in the forest, crush your little food, but the bubbles on the head, I can't remember how the rest goes. Little bunny poo poo, I don't wanna see you. But then I don't remember how it goes from there. <laughs> little bunny, screw you, I'm gonna bonk you. Whoa! <laughs> um. <laughs> That's how I remembered it too. <laughs> uh, so much for this being family friendly. <laughs> That's been late, you right? Fuck right? you! What did you think I said? So, someone's uh, just bonking these evil mushroom shoon fire and uh, that little peppery boy and bouncing eggplants or. I don't know what those are supposed to be. I think those are supposed to be little pieces of turf. Hmm, I thought you said little pieces of... <laughs> okay, boss rocks, is uh -oh. that better? Makes me think of a game called uh, Booger Man, which is an actual Ew! game. <laughs> Great game. Oh yeah! It's, it, what is it like a... It, what was the stuff Ew, I I remember game? that game! That was made just because kids love gross stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, the running be... days. Well, hey, hey, you know what's going to be a great game? Board. Booger well, Man. Well, here's yeah, the thing. It's, it's not know. any. It's not any better compared to the board games kids have nowadays, like uh, Silly Sausage. I have not heard about this. Yeah. Good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, but, everybody. Um. So, uh, someone is fighting uh, one of Meow's ex-wives, apparently. The. Uh, which one? <laughs> right. The ones that look like the bouncing stone heads that you were talking about earlier. I can't tell what those things are actually supposed to look like. I know they look like something to me. Maybe like a, a cookie jar or something? Like, doesn't look like you can they look like what I see after... They look like what I see after too many bad burritos. I think what they look more after? like something you would see <laughs> after uh, the best after women get the they get the very first perfume ever. Last night in one night stand. <laughs> we are so gonna get fired. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're pretty entertaining. I think it's more some of the content of what we said, <laughs> possibly, but... <laughs> so when do we get the official Shuffle League out of context Twitter account? <laughs> That'd be perfect. <laughs> oh, we do have a uh, Twitter account that has just been started up recently, just starting to go and make some activity on it, letting people know about these events coming up. So hey, follow us on Twitter, at Shuffle League. Let us know if you're enjoying the game, the commentary, what else we can change. Yep, and if you ever want to join, please feel more than free to. Yes, join us on the Discord. There will be a link to it on the Twitter account as well. And now we come to the drier level that we like to call the Wee! Yes, Wee! Wee!
that's the, one of the first days we get to do that a lot. I shall be providing some fitting music for both of them. Da 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 Like the last star, yeah. One up sent uh he's doing great now in dryer. Nine lives up to level eleven. So it looks yep. like one up will be clear in dryer pretty soon. Nine lives at least, very likely. It seems like now it's a competition for second place. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because they are past the 39 minute mark, so Andy still has the top time for today and definitely will be continuing to the top four. And uh, so we'll see, can someone or one up here make it into that top four as well? There's only two more racers after this. We have another race at uh, 10 p.m. Central, so. Which I'll be here for as well. I might be. And I can hear people in the chat going, no, no, no. <laughs> Are you sure that's not chosen internally? And I think that's for all of us. Well, gonna be cool. technical. Oh, and someone has cleared Brenner. Who was... cleared Brenner, though? I was confused for a second. I'm like, someone. I'm like looking at both screens and I'm like, ah. I think it was. That is accurate. Someone I has cleared it. Three, two, five. Can we call them that? Just three, two, five. So all 325 needs to do now is complete one more, and he's he's got his time. Yeah, uh, and then one he's to go. second place for now. He's just having fun with Dryer now. He's up to level 20. I believe there's 36 levels in the game, so he's got a little ways to go. It's a very fun very game. Fun. <laughs> It's a very depressing song. <laughs> I know. Oh, and both of them are fighting in the oh, yeah. spooky it's pumpkin. pumpkin time! The greedy pumpkin boss just wants all your Halloween candy. He's got four buckets just spinning around. Give me candy. Give me candy. If you don't get I the candy in time, it throws I fire at you. Candy. I do apples. I inquire your... Your delicious snacks that are not good for other people, but uh. And if you do not, <laughs> other people, but uh. <laughs> and if you don't. Pumpkin's not eating the greatest foods. I mean, look at its teeth. It only has four teeth remaining and huge gaps between them. It's gotta lay off some of that candy. I don't know. Here's the thing you would think that, but at the same time. How can it eat anyways? I mean, why would it need teeth if it's just going to immediately just go inside him? Wow, good night, everybody! <laughs> What's going inside him? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wasn't making a four joke, okay? I know, I know. I wasn't insinuating anything either. I just meant, you know, hats are going inside him because we're throwing hats at him right now. Well, hats off to him, then! Hats off, yes. <laughs> Oh, and someone's going to be greeted with some headbutts here. Let's see how much he remembers from this fight now. And it looks like someone's finally smashed the pumpkin. Smashed the pumpkin. He's moving on to Hammerhead. Oh, oh still doesn't know. He's gotta, just got to put on that I dense mean, one up in the corner. smashed a pumpkin, not someone. Oh. Ah! Someone's going to have another game over soon if he doesn't pick this up really quick. There he goes. Got to chill in that corner. I mean, these are, so our, all of our racers are pretty much blind to these games. These are their first times trying a bunch of these games, so they have to pick it up on the spot in the middle of a shuffler, so it is a very difficult thing to do. Oh, look at that! And now we have a new pace. Bopping around like a sea lion or something now. Bopping around and bopping on the Christmas tree. <laughs> bopping around the Christmas tree. 
Somebody yeah. got drunk and set it on fire. <laughs> Uh, it bopping around the Christmas tree because spring is tomorrow. Because what? Spring is coming tomorrow. Is it? Tomorrow's March first 20th. day of spring. Oh. I did not know that. March 20th is the first day of spring? Is it always the exact same date? Yeah. Okay, okay. Too smart for me. Well, he's, well, that one trying to pick up at the top is really, uh, going over his hammy. Going over his hammy? What? You know, like, eggs over my hammy. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> and there's another one! That and now one up is fighting the old hammerhead boss again. Or it's just like, uh, this boss just really enjoys metal music. It's just headbanging. Mary had a little lamb. His face was white as snow. Oh, God. Great uh, lyrics for it. Very funny. America! Heck yeah! We're gonna spend a day with all of these arcades! America! Yeah! We didn't think of parody lyrics for the song! People are probably watching us as wondering, did they get these guys from the asylum? <laughs> they don't have to wonder, they know. Where do they find these people and where can we get new ones? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to join uh, you can also join as a commentator and then you can help host us and do some of these awesome commentary for these events. Yay! Ooh, Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Bing. Oh, yes, bell. Click oh, the yes. bell. Donate to our Patreon. Yes, yes, and our Patreon and everything. Buy us a pizza. Buy us a pizza and some and, coffee and some soda. And listen to our audio commentary by itself on audible.com. Oh, yes. The best thing to listen now, to. Now we can get a special version where we work with Weirdo Yankovic. No! Featuring Dante from the Double May Cry series! Oh, uh, we couldn't afford Dante. He wanted... He, he wanted too much. So, uh, someone here is back in Space Invading. Um, he has 142,000 points, so he's almost done with that. And 1UP is on the Wii stage of Dryer, so also making good progress. Yep. Here we go. Wee! 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 This game is not on the Wii! No, it's not. <laughs> it's also not this on the Wii! This game you have to Wii! Oh, he's gonna get smashed. Oh, staying in the corner. Nope. Come on and that's... smash! And do it to the there. Space Invader Jam! Da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na. <laughs> Well, actually, I should mention that if either of them finished be before 105, they're going to make it to top four. Very likely, at the least. Um, unless, like, the I guess the last two racers, we still have two more well, racers than this one. It would even then, because they'd be in fourth place. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yes, that is correct. You got it. Math is hard. Then they would be in the top four still. They just have to beat these two times. Although after today, I'm wondering how many of them are going to be like, No, I don't want to be in this anymore. I don't want to hear the insane commentators. Well, here's the good thing. They have their own individual streams open, so if they don't want to listen to us, they could just get a multi and watch us somewhere else. We're on sort of the honesty policy with racers so that they can also still be blind to the games that they wouldn't be tuning into this one. So we can say whatever we want about the remaining racers. Yes. Like we can say that they are big pumpkin heads and stuff like that. So, so we can say that they're big. Oh, uh, let me try. Oh, that. now we have another Doku Don oh. game over. Oh. Don Doku Don. 
plays another victim again. Doku Don more like Doku Dabba Dabba! Dabba! More like Doku Don Mike! I'm Taya! Suki Day! Suki Suna Day! Suna Yatsa! Suna Nina Suna Vente! You got it all! Big, big, we're getting complaints! Doku Doku Dai! Oh god, we are going to get so many letters in. That's a very Everyone loves the funny Dane Dane song! Well, it looks like. Oh, someone's one of almost them. done with Space Invaders here. Someone's like at 190,000 points now. So close. Almost done. Five lives. Looking pretty good. So someone. I oh, know he has to get 250,000. Oh, you're right. 250,000. That's right. So usually the next boss oh, that they face is Oh, it's be it. time for the enemy change of formation. That's a new one. Oh, uh, yeah. There's... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder which one that was. I know one of them does like a kamikaze thing. Uh, maybe that's what happened there? I missed what happened. One of them tries to show you Amway. So someone's just collecting a couple stars here. I think someone also maybe had two game overs in Dryer. I don't recall exactly how many. But this will be the, the last game for someone. Just has to go and get the 250,000 in uh, Space Invaders. So one up has got quite uh, the battle ahead of him. Oh, he's only got two levels left in Dryer. Three lives, two levels. And the concern is, and the big concern is if he can clear those last few levels, but on the flip side, and at least the stars still save their progress. Oh, two lives left now. That was an unfortunate death. He's got one star in the top right corner to still go. So he's going to try to fall from it from the top. Yeah, he's got that little screen wrap there. Oh, he missed the jump. You can do a corner jump back up it, but he's just going to go all the way around, it looks like. Doing the corner jumps is really difficult, where you just jump from a platform in the bottom up to the top one. But, but that's a bad place to spawn if that thing touches him. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yes, uh, 1UP is doing a decent job in Space Invaders here as well. It's 150,000 nearly. Yep, that's setting up fine. the walls of the shields in order to make sure they can destroy enemies when needed. Yeah, I do like that, uh, the change up here from the original. Used to just have these little barriers at the bottom that seemingly did nothing except absorb shots. But here, you can shoot them, like, push them up towards the enemies if you want. They return certain enemies, throw at you debris. But if you're into space shooters like Galaga and Space Invaders, I definitely recommend giving the uh, remake a try. It actually is a lot of fun. Though I will say, it seems like the more you keep shooting out the shields, the more they start to disappear. That is the downside to doing that for sure. And one of the changes in it that you're seeing a lot here is these special shots. And there's a bar in the top left that fills. Uh, when you shoot ships of the same color, you get that much of those little bars in there. So you killed two green ones, now two red ones, two yellow ones. So ideally you try to go and make it so you're strategically hitting ones of the same color. Like there you can get all four blue if you try to line that up properly. Um, so we'll see if he's going to go for that. And he does. And now he has a horizontal left. So if you press the special shot, he does that. It clears left. Yo, he kills another four. Sick. Gets through it again. And now he has horizontal right from doing the green ones. Can clear that whole row. Yep, he's doing a great job making use of it. Swarm missiles, everything. So really cool addition to Space Invaders having this special shot. Now he's got an easy bonus stage while uh, someone here is on one of the more painful stages in Don Doku Don. Oh trying to god, what is know. this? It looks like mayhem! Ooh. Really difficult to hit those enemies in the top left. Uh, not the very top left, but this one just pacing back and forth and back and forth like three platforms up there. It's a pain to get that one. Yeah, he's only got one of them. Now he can do it. There he goes. Now he just has to get up top. And the, uh, the boomerangs only stun you. They don't actually kill you in this one. They're just there to annoy you and waste your time. 
kind of like if you go fishing, you know, you put bait on the hook, you throw it out there, you catch a fish, and then it's like, that was great. All you're really doing is wasting its time, and then you just throw it back in the river anyways. Doesn't have to actually kill them or anything. You just, you know, throw them back. You're like, okay, I wasted your time. Mission complete. <laughs> and it looks... It's like someone of getting the fourth win. Uh, yeah, very likely. They're on the lady, the alien ladybug. I'm not sure what that is. Well, the losing its little uh, shields, though. Wait a second, that's not Queen Zuctonia. Oh. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I do a little bullet hell, just dodging these things. It's a good addition, good uh, like introduction to shoot 'em up games where there's little bullet hell segments like this. Oh wow, I didn't know that game became Toho. I mean, I was gonna make a joke like that too. You still know my joke. And then down Doku down in the middle there, there's a power up. If you grab that power up, it detonates all the enemies on the screen. But he's going for the traditional route where you just have to go and kill them normally. He's on stage 17 now after he clears this room. And one up had to start over on Don Doku Don, so he's still very early, like stage 5 or something right now. Mm -hmm. And another death there. Ouch. I wonder what these enemies are doing in uh, someone's screen. They're like painting the ground with pink something. Are like, you sure that's not, there? Are you sure that's not, not just the blood of their. Their enemies? Hmm. Maybe. I thought That's these were kids' down. games. Need I remind you of Kirby, a cute, colorful, uh, cute little marshmallow puffball who has to fight Cthulhu and other demon and monsters on a daily basis. He looks so cute. They both have a uh, game over there and have to continue in Don Doku Don, but uh. One ups shuffled into Space Invaders, and someone continues on with Don Doku Don. Oh, and one of the guys once left, again though. is going to need more of his name. Ah, yes. Someone is continuing on Don Doku Don. Oh, wait a second. I, I'm wrong. Looking at this closer, it's uh, Pepto Bismol. <laughs> ah, yes. They just had too much Pepto Bismol, so they're just like laying it on the floor. And now we, we what Here, someone is, there we, it, he's on the final section of both games. Oh yeah. So the question is, is, what's he very gonna close to be first? Not sure if one up's close to completing the third game yet. Uh, it's had a few different uh, game overs. So I think uh, one up is pretty far behind in a lot of these games. Only has one continue left in Don Doku Down, and only on stage seven I think now too. That's rough. Yikes. We're gonna say that this is kind of a rough pack of games. Well, we don't... Well, we try to go away from choosing ones that are gonna get done in like five minutes. True. My dog's so smart, you ask him, what's the opposite of smooth? And he goes, roof. What's on top of a house? And he goes, roof. Smart dog. <laughs> More dad jokes to come. Should I call security? Uh... I tried earlier, believe me when I say that. Oh! Oh, and I believe... Someone that should be enough points to get 250,000, so that will be someone's fourth game complete once we confirm the score does hit 250,000. And that will be someone's time around 59 minutes something. We'll get the final time in a moment. Looks like our back office uh, buddy here is going to do it. Back office buddy. And back it is. Buddy. Yep. Someone has cleared it. Dude, the Shuffler Grand Prix yeah. qualifiers. Uh, 159.34 and that with that they're going to get into the top four for tomorrow. Yep. They're guaranteed in the top four now. Beat in under an hour even. I think it was hour and a five from our previous uh, racer that uh, which one was it? Mame, Mame Ninja. Mame Ninja had an hour five minutes. We'll see. Uh, uh, at this one point, it's looking there. like it's looking like what up? It's gonna go past that. Yeah, it's really tough to tell. It has two hundred thousand points in Space Invaders here, so very close. Just has to go and beat the boss basically, and that'll get them the two hundred fifty thousand. 
They have five lives, so it doesn't seem they'll have a game over anymore. Um, I think they have like one level to go, and then it's the final boss fight to be able to get them to 250,000 points at least. But then they have one more game they have to complete, and it seems like it won't be Don Doku Don. I don't remember what other games they have left. Maybe Dryer? Dryer! Yeah, so it depends where they are in uh, Dryer. Because they're very far back in uh, Don Doku Don. Someone! Hello. Someone has joined the chat. Who has joined the chat? <laughs> Someone oh. has. Who? Oh, you've been making jokes like this. They told you someone joined it, okay? <laughs> we'll say 325 joined in. Alright, yeah. enough of the terrible puns you've heard a million times. Congratulations, yeah. someone. You did a great job. You did Thank great you. out there. So, what's your feel? Uh... Pretty good. Uh, I had trouble with the one game because I didn't know you could run, and then I didn't really like the Space Invaders game because. You only have one shot until you get a power up. The rest are pretty cool. What do you think was your favorite out of all these? Uh, I don't know. They're all pretty average, honestly, but they're still fun. Okay. Yeah, nothing was really quite your game. Yeah, I noticed early on, I was like, oh no, he doesn't know how to run. I was seeing you trying to make some of the jumps in uh, Dryer. <laughs> And I was like, oh, Chosen, let him know. <laughs> let him know how to run. That's kind of important. Yeah, it wasn't in the pictures. So. Right. Yeah, it should have been in there. So that was our bad not disclosing that information. Should have been in there. Yeah. A lesson for the next race. Right. Oh! oh. Huh. And I know Is that he... uh, Space Invaders, like, if... It's like you have to get past like that first boss and then you usually have a lot of life to help carry you through the rest. But yeah, you gotta yeah. like take it through. And if you don't know its pattern, like you have to just like sit in the corner. If you don't sit in the corner, you're just gonna die a bunch. You just have to like wait for it to get out of the way and then Yeah, because yeah. I saw both both of both racers tonight. Well, I think like all the racers tonight were having deaths and um, three of them even had game overs and space invaders from that first boss. Yeah, me too. Yep, exactly. That, that was game the wall is tough. Yeah, the first boss was way harder than the second boss. Oh, yeah. yeah. The second boss is just some light bullet hell stuff, which it wasn't even quite, you know, bullet hell. It moves very slowly. There's not even that many bullets peppering the screen or anything, so it's not bad at all. I wouldn't call it a bullet hell, I'd call it a bullet inconvenience. Yes, that's, that's, yeah. that's fine. Way <laughs> I was about to say Toho, but I'll take Bullet Inconvenience. Yeah, I had some game oh, overs, but I finished. Now. Yeah, I finished some of the other games pretty quickly so I could focus on these two, which were had problems I had. Yeah, I've been surprised. All the racers tonight have completed uh, Shoot Man without any problems, because you only have three lives in that one. Uh, you just need to get you know, 20,000 points without having a game over, basically. I mean, All it's racers just tonight have done it. Man. Yeah. Not, nothing too different. What were the oh, Lucky Penguin is uh, a very, very simple and chill game. I don't even know if it's possible to die, but you do have three lives in it. I don't know how you die, though, so I don't know if you have infinite continues or not but even then there's a password anyways which it's very weird for such a short game where it's very difficult to die yeah maybe they're supposed to have more levels in other games so one up is back in i think it was like level nine or something defeating these weird Bouncing cookie jars or and at this point, at the, and at this point, he's officially gone past uh, Mame Ninja's time. You're right. Yeah, so Let's he's very much in danger trouble. of uh, not making the top he's four. He's going to be in a real bad bubble. And can he get himself out of it in time? Is the real question. That's a good point. Twenty five minutes left. It's up to the first boss. The uh, Greedy pumpkin head wanting all the uh, Halloween candy, or uh, not sure what else we would c call this boss. It's like a Ferris, the pumpkin head Ferris wheel. No, I didn't know you can just stand on that spot. Well, 
Never mind. Yeah, you'll sometimes still get burned alive. Those flames are pretty random. I propose to call it the scarce wheel. I like that. <laughs> scarce wheel. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Stand one spot thing. and mash uh, your mallet and throw hats into its face and uh, just hope you don't get burnt alive too much. That's all you can really do on that boss. Yep. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. One up is on the stage is on to the second world of Super Santa Brothers. <laughs> Super what? Super Santa Bros. So yeah, there's a power up here in the middle that'll shrink and uh, freeze all the enemies, but they're kind of blocking the path to get to it right now. Oh, Evil that's the more, the boss. You. This will be his third game down once he completes this, uh, beats this boss here. This phase isn't really that difficult. Like you said, it's just kind of inconvenience hell or <laughs> bullet inconvenience. It's just hard to go and get shots in with all these uh, deflecting shots at you. I guess it'd be worse if it was actually deflecting at you. It was like bouncing your shots back if you hit it or something. Now it's going to come down and smack him. I knew it. <laughs> I saw it coming. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's much you can do about that. He followed the breeze. Yep, so that'll be another game cleared by 1-Up. Still has Dryer and Don Doku Don. Just has to go and complete one of them, and he's halfway through Don Doku Don. I don't remember how far he is in Dryer. We'd have to go and see when that gets shuffled back in. I think he's almost done. He just has two lives. Did he beat Washer, though? Well, he had to beat the Washer to get to the Dryer. Well, he's going to have to deal with another, another game immediately at well maybe not immediately after but this is really if he wants to go there after got the washer here to beat the washer now he's trying to beat the dryer and then he's got uh folding or hanging i guess after that the ironing board ironing yeah the ironing board okay he's got the oh, ironing the board ironing. After. are you leaking next month's games uh, I, I know that the, the theme for it is, uh, will be revealed. It's going to be an uh, odd pair of socks. Just very unique and unusual games. Uh, some of them will be like puzzle games. Others just very unusual games in the very least. But that's, I believe that's all we can reveal about them. Other than that's it. I heard what in one game, the object is going gonna, is gonna to be to get each of us $50. That is an unusual well, game. I think the game is to get us out of, uh... I think the game is gonna be... The next uh, homeroom game is gonna be Shuffle League Breakout. It's a game in which you have to... It's a game where you play as, uh... Chosen last, and you're... And the objective of the game is to break out all of your... Is to make sure you get all of your co comes out of... Out of the uh, Twitch's equivalent of horny jail. You commit hilarious crimes, you're going to do the hilarious times. So one up here is on the Panic Restaurant level. I think this is where the only time you see these chef guys. I don't remember. But... Oh, he's on the last level of Dryer. He's about to go and hang up those clothes and be done. And... Yeah, one up is done. Alrighty. You guys one had one? Hour, nine minutes, and 20-something seconds. We'll get the official time in a moment there. So we'll see. We have two more racers left. That other guy finished, isn't it? What was that? I think that was around the time that Mame Ninja finished, isn't it? I Mame Ninja had an hour, five minutes, I believe. Hour, so. five. I don't know why I thought hour, nine. Yeah, it was really close. Uh, so I see uh, Chosen just recording the times now. So congratulations to our racers, uh, someone and one up here. Uh, someone definitely will be continuing on to uh, the top four. One up is kind of in jeopardy of it. Need to have some other racers tonight struggle, be on the uh, the struggle bus a little bit. So we have the top four race tomorrow. Top four of these will be continuing and with five new games as well. All of them will still be themed similarly to this. Some other like quarter muncher games, ones that you'll die a whole bunch in the arcade playing if you played these. That's correct. See, when I heard the theme of Get Lucky, I thought it was going to be like poker or something. I kind of thought that too. 
Right. Yeah, we uh, discussed that as some of the games. Like I was one of the testers for this um, pack. But the pack got really originally tough. changed from last week, uh, last announcement from the last month because it was originally uh, Lux on us, and it got changed yeah. to Lucky Arcade due to games being in the testing had to be changed. How come? How can okay, that change? Fine. Because orange Jesus. We well, tried to do the luck is on us. We played around with poker games and everything else, and it just didn't work out and stuff. So we decided to go with Lucky Arcade. It still fit the theme and everything. So. Hello, one up. Hey, one up. Oh, congratulations, someone in one up. You completed uh, four of the goals within an hour and a half. Um, so someone will definitely be in the top four. Uh, one up. It all depends on how the other two racers do tonight, frankly. And we'll see if one up can stay within the top four there. So how do you feel about the games tonight? Uh, one up. Did you have any that you really liked and you didn't like? Um. Let's see. Don Doko Don, the one I didn't complete. Um. Yeah, that one was pretty challenging. I thought. Um seemed like the hitbox of your mallet wasn't very big and your character was kind of slow moving so it made things kind of challenging to like get your hits in without getting hit right back that's a big part of that game for sure you just have to keep swinging that mallet and just hoping that you don't run into them yourself yeah that's all exactly I really hope to do. Mm -hmm. i'm sorry what was that Oh, I just said, oh, not getting hit is something that all people tend to go for when playing these type of games. Yeah, yeah. don't get hit, sure. <laughs> Pretty good life advice. And then, uh, Dryer, I thought that one wasn't, uh, too bad, especially <laughs> once I figured out you can run. Like, that second level, I'm just sitting there like, how do I make this jump? There's no way. Yeah, me too. You had that issue. Yeah, so I mentioned that to Chose. I'm like, I don't think, at least I noticed with someone, I'm like, he doesn't know how to run. I was seeing him trying to make this jump, just like inching to the right as far as possible and trying to do and kept like falling below and getting eaten by a ghost or whatever. It's like, oh no, they don't know about running in the game yet. This is a problem. I outsourced my guide writing to somebody else a little bit this, just to help me out because I was struggling. Yeah, that guy I slipped up. <laughs> I'm not saying yeah. it's your fault. I believe it was. I believe I was the one that helped out with these, and I must have missed uh, mentioning that run is in there. So that uh, my bad. It I believe that yeah, was. Yeah, if that's on us too. I mean, like it's an NES game. There's like a D pad and an A button and a B button. Like try all the buttons. It's not that hard. But somehow, like that thought didn't enter my head, or like I don't know. Like maybe I I, I hit B a couple times, but it didn't think to me, hey. You know, try holding B down while you move, and maybe you'll run. But, uh... Yeah, I don't think any of the other games needed the B button, so I didn't figure to press it. That's a good point. A lot of them were just use the D-pad and move around. I guess Don Doku Don to swing the mallet around, but that's about yeah. it. Well, and Space Invaders, but that actually has, like... It's good you guys... Well, I think we had it in the directions that, you know, triangle uses the special shot. I see. I saw both of you guys using that, so you picked up on using the special shot, no problem. Um, I guess you can yeah, let uh, one up know about next month. Uh, yes. Um, so next month will be differently themed. It'll be Odd Pair of Socks, a whole bunch of unique games and unique puzzle games. All right. Well, I guess I'll be sure to bring uh, my lucky pair of socks or so. I don't even wear the socks myself. Just make sure you have your brains ready for next month, oh. I guess. If you make top four, yeah. for sure. I did some internal testing of the next month stuff, and uh, I was on the struggle bus, so I'm just like, someone else needs to test it. These are not games that work with my brain. <laughs> So good luck. They were challenging for me to pick up at the very least. It's like once you know what to do, they're probably not bad. But I was just like, what am I doing here? Yeah, that sounds like it'll be interesting, especially with Shuffler. Because then, uh, you know, you kind of have like a working, like when you're working on a puzzle, you kind of have like that working state in your head. So with the Shuffler, yeah, it's going to be interesting trying to keep that yeah. working state for one puzzle 
mm -hmm. uh, in your brain while you switch to another and hope you come back to it more than, or within like the next five to ten minutes and it's not just sitting there for like 20 minutes. Makes yeah, sense. it should be fun. I I participate um, in a bunch we of do have. I will make this announcement at the eight o'clock. Um, we are looking at yeah. doing some changes for Shuffler Grand Prix. We are looking at cutting the time down next month, and we are looking at upgrading to Shuffler Two program instead of Shuffler One. So we might have a new program where you don't have to do with the arcade separate program. It'll all be contained. You just drop the Lua script in the Bizhawk, and it all be preset right there. Yeah, that'd be yep. nice. And you would just and hit, you uh, you'll just hit keys to, uh, I'll let Net, uh, Net, Netscape explain Shuffler too. He knows more about it. Right, yeah, so, I mean, one of the big things is when you complete a game, you can, there'll be a keyboard shortcut you can set. Um, and once you mark a game complete, you don't have to wait for the shuffled where to, like, shuffle it away. You can just, once you press that key, it just immediately just takes it out of the running and moves on to the next games. That's one of the big ones for it. There's also just less folders, less files, just a little bit easier to maintain. Doesn't have like yeah, a separate execute one, all that. Mm -hmm. oh, so um, we have one more race tonight in about forty minutes, and um, so just we have to kill uh, some airwaves if they if they want to hang out. They, um, I guess we can uh, let people know out there in the. Uh, wonderful viewage of Wayland there and Twitch. We are going to be officially launching next month a counterpart to Shuffler Grand Prix. It won't be shuffling, but it will be a similar format. You'll have five states, though, that you have to complete. So we're calling it Save State Relay, and we're going to be doing more modern systems. So we'll be doing WiiWare, Wii, PSP, Dreamcast, and PlayStation 2. But there will only be one system per race. This way, we don't have to shuffle between emulators. Oh, that'll be fun. It's really exciting. We got our first pack working, in the, and our first system is going to be PSP. Ooh. Cool. Nice. Um, yeah, it's just other upcoming events. Tomorrow's the top four of the GP event. So whoever gets top four tonight will continue on and race tomorrow. Um, and a week from now, so Sunday the 27th will be Mega Man 4 minus Infinity ROM hack. And we'll then on the 26th, board. we can let Beak Beak let us know what's oh, yeah, going yeah. on. Right. Tell the 26th, you got second. another star scatter or up and coming. Big, and I think it's going to be a good one, just as the previous ones were. I won't say much about what I'm doing for. For the April Star Scatter, but I will say the May Star Scatter is going to be the start of something. I'm not really? going to be this with my yet. All right. I'm curious to see what that is. And then close. Um, yep, we got about another 40 minutes, so we'll close out here. If you, everybody who's watching right now, if you tune in in 40 minutes, we'll be up and live again with another race. It'll and be I'll our be last there. race of the night. Um, Someone, do you have anything to promote tonight? Uh, not really, no. All right, one up. Um, no, not really. Um, I guess, well, yeah, no. Uh, I just know you guys are both probably doing a lot of that Mystery Funhouse stuff we've already been talking about. Yeah, the Mystery Fun Fest. Fun Fest, that's what it was called, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, just, exactly. we just play a bunch of random games. I think this morning we did like Super Auto Pets. I love Super Auto Pets. Great game. All right. Well, we'll see y'all back in about 40 minutes for our last two racers over the night. Hope y'all can tune back in with us and uh, let's see who can make top four. Uh, I'm chosen last and you guys have a wonderful night. Um, you, you close out, team. All righty. Good night. To all my fellow friends, both the commentators and and the viewers, we'll see you soon. You got uh, my head is so I'll take a little break. We got forty minutes until another race, anyways. I might join for comms, might not. We'll see how I feel. But uh, if we need more people for commentators, I'll definitely join. If not, maybe I'll be there.
Big, big is just, she's got a personality that just brings stuff. 